in consumer behavior today we are going to study the case of the duality between utility function and indirect utility function utility is a power of a good to satisfy the human want and generally we say that the consumer is always having a very wishful thinking just to want increase in the utility but how that utility can be increased and if that utility has to be maximized or increased we utilize various approaches to calculate that keeping in view the indirect utility function we utilize the maximization of the utility subject to a constraint and that constraint tells us that all the expenditure that is spent for the gain of that utility has to be equal to the budget or to the income of the consumer so utility is maximized through the price of the commodities and with the income that is in the hand of the consumer in this sense utility is maximized indirectly through the two variables that the price of the commodities and the income of the consumer so when we having the second approach of the utility maximizing in that sense we say that the utility is maximized when the consumer is having more and more of all the commodities he want to purchase means utility is maximized through the attainment of more of good x or y or x1 or the x2 means along which we are going to have any utility function so either we can have the direct utility function or either we can have the indirect utility function then what is the difference in the duality and we can explain that that the interpretation of the lagrange multiplier that we have many times utilized to calculate the change in the utility with respect to the change in the income we say that the increase in the income or increase in the money income will be having a incremental effect on the utility it means whenever the consumer will be having more and more of its budget he has a possibility that he will be on higher indifference curve or higher utility function so the in effect of a change in the price and this price is the any amount of the consumer that he want means if he is having indifference curve for pertaining to x1 and x2 that when he is having two commodities we can calculate this with respect to either x1 and also for the x2 in this position if we say that if this is related to the change in the utility with the respect to the change in the price of x1 then we will say that it is utility from the x and change in utility change in that commodity x with respect to change in price of x and if it will be like utility of from both x and y then it will be change in amount of y with respect to change in price of y but here we are having this generalized version that either there is change in the utility or the amount of x pertaining to this then we can have this lambda and this offset and here when we have calculated this part that change in this total utility with respect to price is equal to lambda and that is equal to change in m by pi so the budget constraint it must be satisfied either in this way or the other that this budget constraint has to be utilized to satisfy the assumption for the maximization of the utility and now coming to this other and if we calculate this amounts and substitute in the other equation we come to that point that gives us the rise identity means here the amount of the x that has been decided with the change is equal to the change in commodity with respect to change in its price and multiply by its total price so in this way 
change in utility due to change in price it is equal to the lambda into that respective amount and in this way we can say that if there is any increase in the price of that commodity keeping in view the law of demand function we can expect a reduction in the purchasing power of the consumer's money income and according to that there will be decrease in again in the its commodity demanded and as per the shefford lemma when there will be decrease in the money income we will be having less demand for that commodity so the lambda is the marginal utility of the money income that we have shown here and the product of that lambda and that particular amount of x and that is the rate at which utility varies with money income so it is times the rate at which the purchasing power of the money income varies with pi and so in this way product yields the rate of change of utility with respect to pi here we have substituted both conditions of utility maximization through the direct function and at the same time with the indirect function and we can have the same assumption on both side to reach on the same point and that same point it tells us that utility either via the maximization process or either via the price and the income it reach on the same point that indirect utility function it is also increasing in the money income and we if we invert the utility function that is when we say this utility is the function of prices and income to obtain the expenditure function and in this way the expenditure function it tells us that expenditure function m or in some examples we can utilize this as e also it is equal to again the prices and this u and here this u mean the utility or we can say that expenditure that will be required to at least ascertain that particular or the given amount of the utility ya isko agar hum dusre alfaz mein ye kahe ki jis tarah hum kehte hain ki indirect utility function mein हमारी एक मुकर्र करदा प्राइसेस और इनकम के तहत व्हाट विल बी द अमाउंट ऑफ यूटिलिटी और अगर हम उसको इन्वर्ट करते हैं तो उसी के अगेंस्ट हम एक पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर रिक्वायर होगा जो हमें उस गिवन लेवल ऑफ प्राइसेस के साथ साथ वो एक मुकर्र करदा यूटिलिटी को हासिल करने में मददगार हो सो कीपिंग इन व्यू दिस सिचुएशन हम एक्सपेंडिचर फंक्शन के जरिए या चाहे डायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी मैक्सिमाइजेशन के जरिए हम उसी पॉइंट पर पहुंच सकते हैं और इसी तरीके से जो बोथ फंक्शन हैं दे आर डुअल टू ईच अदर एंड दे कंटेन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल सेम इंफॉर्मेशन दैट कैन बी यूटिलाइज टू हैव ऑल द अजम्पन्स फॉर द यूटिलिटी मैक्सीमाइजेशन सो वेन ईच ऑफ दीज थ्री फंक्शन दैट वी हैव यूटिलाइज आइदर utility maximization or either the expenditure function or the indirect utility function they have the same information and they can be best utilized for the representation of the consumer representation so this tells that if we are having information related to the prices of the commodities or hame consumer ki income ke bare mein ho tab bhi hum uski utility ko derive kar sakte hain और अगर हमें उसके एक्सपेंडिचर का फंक्शन के साथ साथ अगर उसकी डायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी की चीज़ें के बारे में हमें पता हो तब भी हम उससे चीज़ों को कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं थैंक यू